We're here at the Colombo Business School of Management and this is yet another event by the RPA Sri Lanka on the discussion of technology. So we've an absolutely incredible list of panelists. So stay tuned, I'm Akhil and you're with Pulse. We're joined in by Ms. Indika. She is the Deputy Executive of Pixel. So um, thank you very much for stopping by. So tell us a little bit about what the motive is behind this. Yeah. The RPA Sri Lanka event is an event that uh, collect all the experts in Sri Lanka together on the RPA automation, which is a real trend and uh, which is a real need uh, c mechanism that we need in future. So we are supporting and we are sponsoring and we want to organize it much better way to make this event successful. So I believe the Kalama School of Business Management is a collaboration, yes? So how did that come about and uh, what are you looking forward in the future? Yeah, actually they were very supportive for us to uh, help this uh, event this time. So we are looking forward to work much better with them together in future. Alright, so you mentioned uh, priorly this is of community service, yes? So what was the inspiration behind this and what is the final impact behind this? Yeah, uh, the community, uh, if we build our community on uh, technology, especially RPA is a new topic. So if we get people aware about that and if they can get the benefit, the business crowd, or by automating, so that's the purpose. So then the community will get that uh, technical knowledge and the business knowledge. So we are going to have both in mix, in session by session, that they can participate and get to know. We are joined in by Mr. Johan. He was one of the panelists. Um, thank you very much for stopping by. So tell us a little bit as to what you think of this event. Uh, so I initially started to come on it. Basically, it was introduced by my partner who spoke about this event and it has basically been the second time I've come on. And I think it's a good learning experience for anybody who wants to understand RPA. And also you can get a lot of information by coming in if you want to practice RPA, whether you're not a developer, whether you're basically not from a programming background, even if you're from a totally different type of a career path, maybe RPA can start here by you coming for these sessions. Right. So uh, you discussed a lot about technology, right? And you're mostly towards finance. So how do you think uh, this is of importance in the Sri Lankan industry? So if you look at globally, basically what I believe is in lots of countries, RP has already been implemented and they are much more advanced than Sri Lanka. But regardless, if you want to improve a process or if you want to improve efficiency, you need to move with the new technology because RP is just the tip of the iceberg. There is more technology coming in from machine learning, going into artificial intelligence. So RPA is just the base. So without RPA or without robotic process automation, you can't go to that next level. So you need to start it first with RPA. Yes. All right. So um, you, this is a collaboration with Pixel, yeah. So how has that come about? Uh, well, I just got. I I was introduced to. Uh, like I do sometime back, so I'm not really familiar with uh, uh, Pixel, but actually Pixel has been sponsoring this RPA program, and uh, and and I think it's 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 a good job because it will give lots of opportunities for people to understand and learn RPA, and also it's a good base for Sri Lanka to come for these type of events to to just learn more about new technologies. We are joined in by Shervin. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by. So tell us a little bit as to what this event really means to you. Yeah, actually, uh, it's a great event. Uh, so uh, I'm coming from uh, eGuardian. We are the sole distributor for UiPath. As the uh, one of the uh, partner or the distributor who are setting the foundation in RPA, so Pixel has uh, come on board as a partner and they are setting up a foundation where uh, most of the people who are interested in RPA can come and collaborate. So I think it's a great event where everybody can come and participate, learn and share their knowledge. So how important do you think it is uh, for the technological industry and how technology is really booming in Sri Lanka? 
Yes, I think uh, nowadays it's uh, growing at a pace. So with the disruptions, uh, we see so, uh, so much of disruption happening in the AI. Uh, so, much, so many people are talking about RPA and uh, with the disruptions uh, like uh, applications come into the picture like Uber Eats, people are now, even the small industries are now moving to the applications to uh, print invoices and uh, uh, do their reporting. So with that, I think, yes, it's moving at a pace. So how much of an impact do you think uh, discussions like this could create? Yes, actually it can uh, impact for a uh, country like Sri Lanka. It will uh, impact a lot because uh, we are uh, working with limited uh, population or we have limited workforce. So what it can do is if you look at RPA, it's we are working with bots. So it can actually enhance our working population or the workforce. So current volume, what we are doing as a country or transaction we are processing as a country can be doubled. So it can bring so much of services for a country like this. We're joined in by Mr. Lahiri. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by. So tell us a little bit as to what the motive was behind this event. Yeah, so there were a lot of uh, motivation towards having RPA meetups in Sri Lanka, but there were different people trying out, but there was no continuous uh, sessions that are being carried out. So I have been a part of the RPA community, the international community through UiPath forum. So, and I have come across different people from Sri Lanka who are really interested in having meetups in Sri Lanka. So what I thought is, I thought of having, uh, trying to go ahead with that and getting some people involved in this and even my company involved and so that helped me and I once I spoke to them they really agreed on that so that's how the RPA Sri Lanka was born. So what is the impact that you're looking forward to from this event? Yeah so the idea behind uh, hosting meetups for RPA would be to Im promote the RPA in Sri Lankan industry and also grow as a community by sharing the latest updates and a lot of knowledge that different people carry and that will help us all learn how RPA works in the international environment and in different countries. So to apply that knowledge in Sri Lanka as well. So that's the idea going forward. So for that we are thinking of um, hosting uh, workshops, hackathons and meetups like this. So there's a lot of things happening, so stay tuned on that. So for those that actually want to know more about this event and for future events, uh, where can they get more information? Yeah, so they can directly contact me or they can see the updates through the Meetup site or else we have RPA Sri Lanka pages in Facebook and LinkedIn and you can get updates through those sites. If anyone wants to contact me directly, some of them already have my contact details and anyone willing to contact, go ahead and talk to me through the forum as well. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To keep up with the past of Sri Lanka, you can subscribe to our channel here. To watch our latest videos, click here and here. Keep living it.